I was in the mood. I, I don't know what to tell y'all. So I'm in a mood and I figured since I'm in this mood, let's just go for it. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen and I absolutely love everything and all things <laughs> that smell good, make you feel good as well as me. Okay, so this is the thing. I'm in a mood. Someone asked me to do this. I'm just going to do it. And I really only have like 15 minutes, but y'all know I talk a lot. I'm in the middle of actually doing a vlog for today. Today is Saturday. You will probably get this vlog on either Sunday, Sunday, Monday, one of the days, right? And it's just me hanging out um, in some streets, doing some things. Plus, I got did some stuff for my niece who's turning 30. It's a surprise party for her today, so... Y'all might even see a little of that, okay? A little, you know, shrink, shrink, like, like, whatever. But for right now, someone asked me what was my top 10. Like, if I need to pack up some fragrances in a shoebox, <laughs> you don't know me. I'm queen of Tetris, friend. It would, it would be more than 10, okay? She could get more than 10 in a shoebox. I don't know how you would pack your stuff, but evidently, I was a flight attendant, ma'am. I, I could almost pack a house in a suitcase. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? So, anyway, shut up. The fragrance of the day is this is from the Carolina Herrera Confidential Line. And this is Bronze Tonka. This is what I put on today. Spread it all over my body. God, I smell good. Let me tell y'all, this fragrance is expensive. And I smell so good. Okay, yeah, I got that on. And then on top, I have the Baya Oud from La Tapa. And this is Amethyst. So these two together... <sighs> Okay, I, I just got like so many compliments in the streets today, like so many, to the point where this guy was at the bike shop. I went to look for some dirt bikes for Christopher Curtis. Okay, shut up. We got now we got twelve minutes, and the guy was like, "Ma'am, I mean, oh my God, like you smell good over here, over there," and we just kicking and giggled about it. But yeah, I smell good today. Top ten. So this is the thing. I would say that these are like always my top 10. There's a few I've added, maybe one I've taken away, but only because maybe it's not here in a present time. But for the most part, I kind of go with the same stuff. I don't think my top 10 has really changed. Maybe when it comes to design houses, my top 10 has changed. Like what I like the most, whether it's Middle Eastern or designer or, you know, whatever, right? Mm, I have a mixture here. So let's just get into it. Let's just hurry up and run through these things. I'm not going to go over notes. Just what they smell like to me and what they feel like to me. Let's get started. No, no particular order for him. The first one I'm going to say is LaBelle. Jean-Paul Gaultier. LaBelle. Whether it is LaBelle, the intense version, or just LaBelle. I'm obsessed with that beautiful, mouth-watering, juicy pear vetiver fragrance. Listen, it's empty. Both bottles are empty, so I can't show you now one of them, but... Y'all know I love them, and I emptied them last year. I just need to buy another bottle. I just been on this intentional buying and no buy thing. The next one I'm going to say is the, my fragrance of all times. Like, Lifetime, like, that has the most attached memory to it will be Detour Noir from Serge Raton, um, which is, which has the deadly flower. Girl, listen, I love this fragrance so much, I have the seeds to this flower. And... I can't grow it though because my dogs but i really want to grow this myself it's a beautiful white floral fragrance but it's dense it's intense it's syrupy it's heavy it's unique it has this twang this quirkiness to it it's not for everyone but I, i'm i'm obsessed with this and um yeah this right here is the last bottle that i have and i i just need to get another one before it no longer exists but my daddy hated my daddy knew my daddy knew when I was in his house because <laughs> he was like, there you go with that fragrance again. The only thing close to that for me that brings me like that type of feel would be from Mancera and that's Wild Python. This is another white floral. This one to me is like, um, it has this burst to me of like, it's like a citrus white floral that's been steeping in something really thick and sweet with that heavy Melissa Musk. This is not for everybody. Everybody's not going to like this Two Bros fragrance. This is not your girl next door bubble gum. Two Bros. This is your sexy whips and chains Two Bros. This is a grown woman's Two Bros. Like, yeah, she's, this is, yeah, I'm telling y'all, this is good. <laughs> Some people just be like, why do y'all like, because I like it. Because because I can go from day to night. Just like that. Because <laughs> I like it. So anyway, this is Mancera. And this is Wild Python. And yeah, baby. <laughs> Y'all. 
Okay, that's two fragrances. I'm, I'm counting because it's going to be an honorable mention, just so you know. I used to go to Aveda Spa a long time ago. And I would go in there and buy Aveda products, all of their like shampoos, conditioners, body stuff, whatever. I was big on like the natural scrubs. And, and I'm talking about like 20 years ago. I've been, I've been loving Aveda Spa. And when you walk in the door, it has this, this distinct scent. And it's like myrrh and maybe a little tonka and maybe some frankincense and some flowers and some dried herbs. And it's a beautiful, clean, relaxing meditative kind of environment right and this is their fragrance it's hard to find this now this is called plant beauty and i ran up on it from the cosmetic company store when i'm in that mood which is going to be like spring or maybe fall when it starts to cool when it's cool temps like morning and i make it up my bed i like to spray this fragrance I don't really wear it on me, but this is the fragrance I want to smell in my room when I'm just relaxing. Or sometimes I'll spray my yoga mat with this, but this is that scent for me. And it, at times I have sprayed my workout jacket with this. So when I'm not going to work out, when I'm just literally going to the massage at the uh, Planet Fitness, I'm sitting on chairs. It is that scent that, that calms me, that um, it's like a very peaceful scent for me and i absolutely love this so i'm going to try to always have this plant beauty if you look it up online it's expensive like why yeah you, but you have to like that type of scent right i've been trying to mimic that scent for years we're gonna go here because y'all already know this is body out oud from latafa and this is oud for glory right <laughs> It's my second bottle. This is not for everybody. And I know a lot of people say it was the ooh. I really think it's the saffron, y'all. I think it's the saffron that you all maybe not like. But I'm obsessed with saffron. I like it in my cooking. I like to smell the actual flower of saffron. And this is so beautiful to me. This is saffron. This is ooh. There is a sweetness. It's a heavy, dense, musk, Middle Eastern vibe to this. And I'm obsessed with this. I think... Um, this is perfect for man or woman. I have a lot of friends that love this fragrance. When I wear this fragrance, I get a lot of compliments, like both from men and women. They don't know what to think when they smell this because it's something that is not familiar, like La Vie Belle, right? Or now, Delina. It's, they're not familiar with this, so it intrigues them. And when I first got this, it intrigued me. But I'm obsessed with this. I will always have this. Ooh, for greatness is on my wish list for one day. I have gone to the stores and smelt them over and over. I just feel like for $20, <laughs> I mean, 300 to $20. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to wear this. And it's going to last all day. And be careful if you spray this on your clothes because it's hard to wash it off. That is the turtle that you hear in the background. That is for fragrances. Number five, Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. I love this. It's my second bottle. I love this. I will always have this dense, syrupy, sweet, honey-esque vibe. This is so good, so feminine, so date-worthy on a cool day. Summer, light spray. Are you going to spray how many sprays you want to? It's your business. But, you know, you're going to wait 30, 40 minutes before you encounter somebody. Okay, girl, she's strong, but she's going to last long. If you notice, all these fragrances are strong and last long. I'm a strong, last long type of girl. I love Beast Mode, fragrance, Beast Mode fragrances, but I also like them. They're yet feminine, right? Well, that one could be a little lean and masculine, the oof for glory, but I love saffron. So anyway, this is a beautiful fragrance. The flankers are really good. I'm just obsessed with the main one. And this is Ellie Saab, Girl of Now. A beautiful fragrance with a lot of beautiful white florals. I like white florals. I don't know. I might be a little feminine. Just a little bit. Okay, number six is La Vente de Triana, And this is from the Maison Lancome line. Absolutely, hands down, my favorite bottles that I own in my collection. I love these bottles. I told you all that. Yeah, these are just beautiful. I love these bottles. And I don't know, something about this fragrance that just does it for me. I'm a huge floral girl when it comes to like realistic florals, like the realistic smelling of the different types of lavenders. It's a field of lavenders covered in milk. 
And I don't mean like cow's milk, like a really nice heavy creamed milk. That's not so sweet, and, but it's still dense. And it's just all different species of flowers of lavender floating like amongst it. And this is so beautiful to me. This is a beautiful bath. Like when you want to do a, like a spiritual bath or just a, a milk bath, you know, for your skin, to soften your skin, you're adding the lavender for the mood and the, for the scent. And uh, yeah, this is good. <laughs> She's good. When I first got it, I was like, heck no. What did I buy? What is this milk? Y'all know I don't like milk, so. It's, but now it's so addicting. It's extremely addicting. I, hands down, favorite fragrance. Like, favorite top 10. Hands down. I, I really like that one. Number seven. I'm at 10 minutes. Number seven is Imperial. And this is from Club de Nuit. Now, this one right here is a dupe. I think it's in between Delina and Delina exclusive. I am not a friend of Delina. I bought Ariana. I think that was a waste of money too. But this and Delina exclusive. The original, those two, these two can get it. I would say the lean exclusive or this one, either one, <laughs> full life, okay? This is a beautiful musky fragrance. It does have some sweetness and it's loud, y'all, but it has like this instant vibe to it that uh, I wear this year round. I can see someone saying Delina is summer and spring and this is fall and winter, but <laughs> she wears this 24 7. I got this as soon as it came out. Like, well, as soon as I said, oh, this is new, Cha -ching, this is mine. When I got it, I was like, oh, we need a backup. Okay. We're on bottle number two. Yeah. It's been over, maybe it's been two years. I don't know how long it's been. Y'all don't know. Club Date Nuit Intense. And, oh, no, Club Date Nuit Imperial. Obsessed, obsessed. I mean, the bottles are just what and what, but. <laughs> How much were those? At one time, they were like $50, $60. What are they now? $40? I don't know. Go get that if you don't have that. Okay. So, this fragrance right here is Royal Musk, and it is from Amicola. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I know y'all know this. I love this fragrance. It's the most beautiful, elegant musk fragrance for a feminine woman. I love this. I bet I've been shaking this all, the whole time. I'm sorry. But... This fragrance right here, the bottle, the craftsmanship, everything about it. I love this fragrance. This is beautiful. This is, it's still a floral fragrance, but it's musky and light and very like wedding-esque, like wedding, even bridesmaid, even a field of flowers and a flowy dress and, and everything, you're at peace and you're just running through the fields. This is so pretty. This is so feminine, so pretty. Top 10. Full life. That's so good. Okay. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Now I'm not I'm not including the bill that we said the first one because she's not here. We don't have her. Okay. I know somebody's gonna say, ma'am, you're on number 10. I'm not. Stop it. Okay. So anyway, making love from Kofi. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I don't know what y'all smelling. Some people's like, oh, I, don't, I smell rubber. Oh, I don't, I don't like it at all. I, you don't have to. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna like it for both of us. I got us. I'm gonna like it for the both of us. Okay, this this scent right here just is caramel macchiato upside down with extra caramel, a side of maple bacon, and a pancake. That's what this is. It's the morning after when he serves you this on a tray and you're still laying in bed. That's what this is. This is love. This is love. I put a post up on Instagram and I said, you know, what would bring you joy? Like something simple, small, something like that. Like the most inexpensive thing. I put banana annihilators. <laughs> a man come with a bag of banana annihilators. We, we go together real bad, okay? But if he brings me a coffee and it's made right and it has espresso shots in it we married i'm just saying this is this is so good so yes i have both versions this is so good this is so good i like the scent of coffee especially in the morning and i wear this on my body this is realistic like i'm about to shower not really i need to get ready for this party y'all i'm not gonna be smelling like everything Oh, this is good. I said I wasn't going to wear this. 
Ooh, look at that oil. Y'all see that shine? <laughs> I don't even think he has these anymore. So I don't even know why I'm running my mouth about this. We have 15 minutes. You're doing too much. Let's fast forward. All right, so the Kofi line, making love. I'm going to say making love, King George, all the things. <laughs> That's my judge, okay? I, I have one left. I actually have three left. I have one that is in the top 10. But these other two are like, I know you're not going to leave me out. Like, I, you must be tripping. So, I'm going to give you the, the, the top 10. And then I'm going to give you these two. And when I show you these two, you're going to be like, oh, we already know. <laughs> okay? So, you feel me that 10 is just it's just not my zhuzh. I mean, I don't even do numbers evenly like this. So, anyway, this is Memo. But this is Madara. Favorite spring fragrance <laughs> of all times. <laughs> I'm just saying... This is sweet, this is floral, this is peach, this is jasmine, this is feminine, this is sexy, this is a grown woman's fragrance. This is worth every dime that is in this bottle for him. This was handcrafted for the feminine woman. This is for the woman who enjoys spring, who enjoys outdoors and brunches, and she's intentional. Her, her, her nails are never dirty, okay? Bun is bunny, slay. <laughs> I'm just saying, no wispies nowhere, no flyaways. She's just clean with it. And car stays clean. Don't have to move the stuff to the side for somebody to get in. Like, she's all the way put together. This, that is what this is. Beautiful, beautiful. This fragrance is good. That's the top 10. That's the top 10. There's two over here that I hardly ever leave the house without when I'm going somewhere. Like, on a trip or doing something. Because I know for a fact I can spray one of these two, whether it's spring and summer or fall and winter. And I must smell good for eight to ten hours. One of these fragrances is one is what started off my love and my journey of Mancera. Cocoa Vanilla. This is a syrupy, dense vanilla coconut fragrance. And I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. But I have, I get this feeling over me like it's summer. It's time to pull out the bathing suits, head to the beach. It's time to make these trips. It's time to get on this boat. It is time to enjoy summer. It's time to do all the things, you know, boy shorts or whatever, your little cutoff shorts, your white beater, and your cute little hat. It's time for all those things. Big hoops, friend. She might even get her nose pierced with this one. Like, this is like fun in the sun. Just a good time. No stress, no pressure. Just a good time. This is Coco Vanille from Mancera. I'm wearing this today. Okay, so the next one will be, we're going to be doing an outside party. So just, <laughs> I need everybody to smell me like while we outside for hours. You remember that song, Hours and Hours? She was talking about that fragrance. All right, so Fall and Winter, Choco Violet. I don't know what the opposite session is, but it, Mancera never does me wrong. Mancera, I mean, we're going to talk about houses and the favorite, like, top five houses that are in my collection. And when I show them to you, you're going to know why. You're going to know why because most every fragrance I've showed you here, none of these last less than, like, eight, nine hours. Like, all these are all-day fragrances. This is probably the lightest one. This one in the Royal uh, Musk. Summer and spring. The rest of these babies, they, they're on me. And I love fragrances, you know, for that. I like the fact that I can pay for something and get my wear, my use per ounce, okay? And not bad an eye on the dollar. Like, these are good. These are my favorites. I mean, everybody got their own. I know. Somebody is like, oh, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it is. <laughs> And is I'm just saying, y'all. Would I wear this? Yeah, I want to. I don't even know. Maybe we even do a fragrance on most complimented fragrances. I live in Texas, baby. These people will stop you. Uh, who do who does your hair? Let me touch your hair. What do you have on? You smell good. Where you get those shoes from? We talk to each other here. Y'all already know. So we get comp I get compliments left and right. But today I got compliment on my fragrance, girl. And that man was like. Kept looking, I kept thinking to myself, well, maybe I know him. <laughs> I don't know. 
But y'all, so that is, once again, the Bronze Tonka from the Confidential line. Ain't that much left, girl. We're going to empty this. Um, yeah, and then the Amethyst. Yeah. I'm out. Have an amazing day. This video is for you, friend, that asked me to do this. I got you, boo. And I'll see y'all either Sunday or Monday with a weekend vlog. Let's make it long. So I'll see y'all Monday. And it'll be from the weekend, okay? Peace.